drank his father's ashes as coffee. With a hint of milk fragrance, you'll definitely laugh your teeth off with this comedy today. David received a call from his wife saying she's giving birth next week. After hearing this, he packed his bags and headed to the airport. As soon as he arrived, his nightmare began encountering a beer belly man. They were clearly not in the same league and David wasn't keen on chatting. Unexpectedly, they met again in the first-class cabin. The lucky man originally had an economy seat, but due to a broken seat belt, he was upgraded to first class for free. As the plane took off, David was texting his wife. The man kindly reminded him to turn off his phone. When David didn't respond, he loudly mentioned that many terrorists use phones to detonate bombs. This statement immediately attracted the attention of the police. They warned David to put down the detonating device and, without waiting for an explanation, shot at him. When he woke up, he found himself inexplicably on the airline's blacklist. His money and documents were on the plane, making it difficult to get home. At this moment, the man appeared in a car. He was banned from flying. With no other choice, David had to get in the car. David wanted to take a nap, but the man driving couldn't resist the urge to sleep either. His eyes couldn't stay open, and the next moment, the car veered off the highway. At noon that day, the two were still chatting normally. The man took out a can of coffee, claiming it contained his father's ashes. Their goal this time was to scatter the father's ashes in the Grand Canyon. In the evening, they planned to sleep in the car, but the man had a strange habit that David couldn't tolerate, so he decided to rest outside the car for a while. In the morning, while the man was in the restroom, David placed the man's belongings and the dog by the roadside. David didn't want to travel with the man anymore, but not far. He discovered that the man's father was still in the car, unable to leave him behind. David returned. After leaving the hospital, David was in a state of collapse. He and dog suffered multiple fractures, but the man remained uninjured, possibly due to having more fat. David called a friend to pick him up. He scolded the man and initially wanted to leave him and ride with the friend alone. However, unable to bear it, he called the man to join them in the car. They went to the friend's house to rest. After taking a sip of coffee, David complained that it tasted terrible. The friend explained that there was no coffee left at home. What they were drinking was the coffee they had brought with them the father's ashes. The man almost choked and hurriedly put the remaining father back into the can. In the process, he accidentally spilled another third, leaving only half of the ashes. In the evening, to stay alert, the man took a hit of marijuana and David was also affected. Both experienced hallucinations and exited the highway prematurely. Arriving at a drug checkpoint, inspection personnel instructed them to get out of the car for inspection. The man took the opportunity to slip away, leaving David caught and confined to a small dark room. Shortly after, the man stole a police car, dragging the container with David inside and making a dramatic escape. Despite the intense situation, David felt a sense of camaraderie from the man. They eventually arrived at the Grand Canyon, where the man bid farewell to his father. At this moment, David received a call from his wife, announcing that she was about to give birth. The two rushed day and night to reach their destination. While the man was idly flipping through the car's guns, a misfire occurred. After a simple first aid by the man, they persevered until they reached the hospital. Upon opening the door, the baby's skin is black, almost causing him to faint. Fortunately, it was just the wrong word. Finally, he met his wife, and they welcomed a chubby baby boy. The journey of David and the beer-bellied man had come to an end. Although their adventures were thrilling and unforgettable, in the end, all that remained was a simple farewell. Perhaps, this is the essence of life.